Partners for seven years now. I'm currently a service coordinator here. As important as the 5% campaign and subsequent rate increase have been, it is only the beginning of the process of raising direct support professional wages and disability service rates to keep up with the general inflation rate. Anything less effectively lowers the rate every year rather than maintaining it. The constant pressure to do more with less erodes at the range and quality of services that providers are able to offer. It also makes it difficult to pay staff enough, enough to keep up with their own increased costs of living. This is difficult for direct service professionals, many of whom love their work and understand the value to people of the services they provide, but still find themselves unable to balance their own household budgets while remaining in the field. The supervisors I've spoken with have all expressed frustration at the financial constraints, which leave them unable to offer merit raises or any other financial incentives to their best staff, no matter how superior their dedication and performance. There is wide agreement that a trained and experienced staff is the key to providing excellent services. Frequent turnover is a chronic issue in the field, especially for direct service staff, and excessive staff changes are one of the most common concerns expressed by persons served and their advocates. This is not a matter of choosing whether to support staff or services, because keeping staff wages competitive is supporting the best possible services for the people who depend on them and benefit from these services in their daily lives. 